Hi, everyone. Today we are talking about my recommendations for books about mythical creatures, monsters, stuff like that. Before we get into it, make sure you are subscribed and have notifications on. But anyway, let's get started. So first of all, I have to mention the Mythical Creatures Bible. This book is full of illustrations and so many monsters, which most of them never even heard of. It pretty much is packed with just about any creature. Like, I'm pretty sure they include it just about everything, including cryptids like Bigfoot, the Kraken. It doesn't go in depth, obviously, for every creature because then the book would be like thousands of pages long, but it gives a quick rundown of each creature. Next up is Monsters and Mythical Creatures from Around the World. This book is not my favorite, which by the way, the book is divided based on countries or continents. So for example, chapter one is like North America, and then it dives into all the North American monsters and creatures. But it is a really good book. I just rather read the Mythical Creatures Bible instead. I mentioned these two books in my last video, but if you are interested in learning about monsters that live in the sea, then I recommend Treasury of Folklore, Seas and Rivers, Sirens, Selkies, and Ghost Ships, as well as Mermaids, the Myths, Legends, and Lore, because these two books are really good for learning about what might be in our waters, hypothetically. Obviously, Mermaids is for mermaids, but... Sirens, Selkies, and Ghost Ships is pretty much every water creature ever. And they also include illustrations, and it's just a really nice book to look at. Next up is Unicorns, the Myths, Legends, and Lore, because I love unicorns, but I feel like we don't know much about them. Growing up, I was always told that, like, a unicorn is a white horse with a horn, but... Realistically, if unicorns are real, they would be goat-like deer that are kind of horse-like. And I really like this book because it pretty much fulfilled my need for needing a unicorn book. Like, it dives into the lore, legends, myths. I think it discussed some theories as well. It has illustrations. It's formatted really, really nice. I love how it's written with the mix of, like, myths and sightings and just info the author has to include. It, like, really gets your mind thinking. I feel like with the Myths, Legends, and Lore series, you're always going to be getting new information. Like, I hate when you get a book and it's so vague. Like, it's info you've heard before. But with this book, as well as my mermaid book and the dragon book I also have, it's just the perfect thing to open if you want some new information and some new thoughts regarding the topic. For me, at least, it's really hard to find books I like because I'm really hyper fixated on mermaids. So, for example, when I'm looking for mermaid books, the first things I get recommended are usually books I already have or they are books that are meant for kids. And they're also heavily censored books. They will leave things out because it's not appropriate for children. But with Unicorns, the Myths, Legends, and Lore, it's just everything I've wanted for a unicorn book. Like, it literally fulfills the need pretty well. So does the mermaid one, of course. I love that book so much. But next up we have dragons, the myths, legends, and lore. And just like mermaids and unicorns, these books really just get you thinking. They're illustrated so nice. They leave no information out. I love how the information is also put into the book. Like, whoever designed the way this book is supposed to be written and put together just did an amazing job. But I got this book because I really wanted a book about dragons and learn more about them because I feel like we all know what a dragon is, but we don't all know where dragons really come from, you know? And this book is really nice because it dives into, obviously, the myths, legends, and lore. Like, I literally can't put more emphasis on it. If you want a good book about a certain topic of a certain creature, then get this book if you're into dragons, get the mermaid one if you're into mermaids, or get the unicorn one if you're interested in unicorns. And lastly, we have The Phoenix. I wanted this book because I think the phoenix is just such a nice symbol. I think being created and then bursting into flames and 
rising up from those ashes is just so poetic. And although I've heard about the phoenix and I've seen it in books, like for example in Harry Potter, there's a phoenix, there isn't much to really be said about it. And I really just wanted to learn more about the phoenix besides just knowing little information. But I found this book on Amazon and was like, wow, it's so cool how the author was able to just fill up nearly 500 pages dedicated to this bird. And then obviously I went and purchased it at Barnes & Noble. So yeah, I am just really obsessed with learning about creatures, not just vague information. You can never have too much information on one topic. And yes, a few of my books are meant to be kind of vague, like for example, like books that are supposed to include a bunch of monsters at once. They obviously can't give full-blown stories because there won't be enough space for them. However, the books that I mentioned that are meant to include a lot of creatures, like for example, Mythical Creatures Bible, although they are not able to include a lot of info, it's not that vague. Like, it still dives into the topic without leaving a lot out. Like, they're trying their hardest to include all the info they can in one book, and they did it pretty, pretty good. I just love these books that are dedicated to one topic, like unicorns, phoenix, mermaid, because I just like to see the full story. But if you're not interested in having the full story of one creature, then getting a book that is like the Mythical Creatures Bible or Monsters and Mythical Creatures book, then those are perfect for you. I think what I originally did is I purchased the Mythical Creatures Bible and then I flipped through it and I saw a few creatures in there I really thought were cool and that's when I decided to look up more in-depth information regarding that creature. So for example, the Loch Ness Monster's in it? Well then, I'm intrigued. Now I'll go to a bookstore and look for a topic just about the Loch Ness Monster. I think having books that include a lot of monsters at once are really useful for learning about what you find the most interesting. Or if you are just really interested in having one book that kind of packs everything into one without needing to buy like a bunch more books. I hope that makes sense. But at the end of the day, I'm still always going to be looking for books that are very in-depth on mermaids. But yeah, that is it for now. If you would like to support the channel, then check out my PayPal, Cash App, and Amazon wishlist. Besides that, you could also subscribe and turn notifications on. Anyway, I hope everyone has a really great day. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!